all hope and optimism about the future, acting president Ulich reminisced on the first and only time he met the Plutonian in person as he was assigned to put a gold medal on the Plutonian on all his good works and being the hero of the people, for he was adored, admonished, and loved by all. He was a role model for up and coming young superhumans. He was a figure to look up to. Everyone was indebted to him in some way or the other because with such power of his, he never asked for anything in return. But the truth is, what can you offer a god? When the Plutonian showed up, it was a time of unpredictability and uncertainty. The future was bleak as one powerful country was on the neck of another powerful country. A time where a push of a button can cause everlasting chaos due to global political disagreements between world leaders. And this was after the Second World War and the Vietnam War. You know, the Cold War? The Plutonian came at the right time, in which gave humanity a new sense of hope. It was a breath of fresh air and a ray of sunshine. It was kind of amazingly surprising to the acting president back then that such a powerful entity in his heroic days never ventured into the idea of world domination. In truth, the thought never came to the Plutonian's mind. He just wanted to help and he did it with joy, without a grudge. The crazy thing is that now that he had gone rogue, no one knows what the Plutonian wants. He is not asking to be a ruler or has he brought any proposal or demand for anything. Everyone bought into the Plutonian, including the acting president, for he was the people's hero. They never perceived any sign of deceit or distrust. He was a figure of high respect. His enigmatic, charismatic presence was hypnotic. He could do no wrong. With such power and abilities, he was beyond humble. He was seen as God sent an angel from above in which everyone had faith in. And just like that, in a blink of an eye, he went rogue and became the prince of darkness. An unrepentant fallen Nephilim as he terrorized the world into his own Armageddon. Everything had been tried and tested to stop the Plutonian, but to no success from using sophisticated high-level weapons to using his former teammates against him. And the only thing that gave everyone hope for the future was when he was captured by the Vespan soldiers, thanks to the Hornets, and taken away as their prisoner. But their hope was dashed as he is back and causing more destruction by unleashing terror on the world. But the truth is who can hold the Plutonian accountable for his deeds and actions, in which first the hand of a desperate acting president by letting himself to be manipulated by the representatives from the Eastern Hemisphere to unleash the end game protocol, which resulted in the releasing of these extraterrestrial beings who claimed to be the Plutonian's birth parents. Now, the releasing of these beings polluted the air with high-level radiation, and this had cost a lot of lives at this moment. From the Plutonian's perspective, these gigantic beings can't be his real parents, for they are not humans, and in a raging demeanor, demanded to be released as they understood that the Plutonian was not accustomed to being restrained. They told him that they do not want to frustrate him into a fight, for violence will benefit nothing, as they let him know that they are filled with regret, blaming themselves for bringing him into existence for he had done so much damage to humanity and that they would have stopped him earlier if not because they had been willing captives on this planet for dozens of solar circles not caring about his parents solemn autobiography he demanded to be released for no one dare hold him captive so he was released but not in the present timeline but 10 billion solar circles into the future, which was the very end of time, a place of void where all activities cease to exist, a very dark cold space of pure emptiness, no sun, stars or planets, no life exists, not even a speck of dust, and all this will fade away. The Plutonian was unable to move, not to talk of using his abilities to save himself, it was like he was drowning in a 
pool of nothing. He couldn't even speak as they bade him farewell in the timeless zone. He asked them to wait, communicating with his parents mentally, for in this place he was unable to talk physically, pleading with the beans that if they are who they say they are, why are they abandoning him again? Asking and pleading to be released, but his request was denied, expressing to him that he was their mistake and by leaving him in the timeless zone was a way in which they are atoning for his atrocities against humanity. The Plutonian plain victim said to them that he is perplexed that he is such a mistake. They are doing all this to save humanity, which means that they are capable of compassion. That if they are his parents, they should open their kind, warm hearts to him and show mercy as he begs. For he doesn't want to end up in this timeless zone, faded away, not knowing who he really is. Seeing his point of view and understanding where he is coming from, they agreed to his request. They took him to the origin of time by introducing themselves as alias, entities who are gatherers and caretakers of all space-time knowledge. And for generations, they had ventured through the lower and higher dimension in a way to learn all life forms in the galaxy and the multi-universe. It is also their duty, which is very important, to protect the time stream from untrained chrono voyager like the plutonian these entities move in pairs and as gatherers and caretakers of space-time knowledge the Elias were assigned to earth 35 solar cycles ago following accurate procedure and from a distance they found an isolated and remote area in which they constructed a quantum channel data streaming unit to study everything about humans and the result they achieved was overwhelming to them for since they had been studying species throughout the cosmos they had never come across a species like the humans for humans were an emotional complex sentient being whom defies a mechanical followed role or style and with themselves they wanted a new perspective on humans so without thinking of the consequences of their action they consummated by combining their energy in surrendering each part of themselves to create a probe an equal form of themselves an osmotic unit designed and crafted to wander and move close to humans in studying them from a close range in which it had the capabilities of sampling the attributes of humans and mirroring their emotions but as i said before these actions of theirs had consequences for when they sent this probe among humans they didn't put the human consciousness into account for when the human consciousness is in a state of a particular emotion unknowingly it is capable of magnetizing and attracting energies around it which unfortunately for the probe it was attracted to a unbalanced chronic depressed woman who was lonely sad and giving up on herself she was on the verge of suicide not only was she depressed but reeled with guilt as the unprepared probe came closer to this lonely depressed woman the probe under the influence of her emotions metamorphosized and transmuted into a newborn baby for this woman had killed a baby and buried it in her basement and her yearning was for her baby to return and this was the birth of the plutonian not freaking out at this occurrence and deluding herself purposefully saw this newborn baby as a miracle a gift and a god sent you got to understand that this woman is insane even with the miracle baby at her behest her depression remains for no matter how she wants to delude herself that baby pluto is her baby from the sacred grave at the basement she knows the truth after a while living with the lonely depressed woman baby pluto began to manifest his characteristics in strength and abilities and to be honest this occurrence didn't freak her out but unconsciously baby pluto let her relieve her secret shame of what she did with a lady
Great Baby, in which propelled her to do something shocking to herself and baby Pluto by locking herself in her car in the garage and putting the car on and letting the fumes cover the air they breathed as she died. But baby Pluto survived. And this was the genesis of the Plutonian moving from one foster home to the other. For as a baby, when he manifested his abilities in the presence of his foster parents or family, they freak out and get scared in which they returned him to child services because they didn't know how to handle him. From a young toddler to his teenage years, the only thing the Plutonian got was rejection. The strange look he gets from everyone. It was so painful for him. The Elias, not knowing that the Plutonian at this moment was evolving and adapting to his environment, asked him to tell them of his earliest memory. As a teenager, tired of being rejected and looked down upon in a funny and weird way from people, he decided to isolate and distance himself from people in a forest in Colesville. Also hiding himself from everyone, as once in a while, the hunters got a glimpse of him. To the point, he became a local legend nicknamed the Wolf Boy. A teenage boy by the name of Max Damage was the only one who dared to seek him out, in which resulted in a hostile confrontation which left a young Max Damage injured. And the reason why the Plutonian wasn't merciful to the young Max Damage was because he saw Max Damage as everyone that had always looked at him in a strange way. Especially those that looked at him with fear in their eyes. You should realize that the Plutonian had flipped the script on the Elias. For as he was giving his narrative to his parents, he was secretly reading them just for some reason that makes sense to him. He kind of muddled up his narrative and then blamed them for the way he is. That they allowed him to be raised by an insane woman whom infected him with her sickness and he hopes that they are happy. The Elias were confused as they begin to disagree with each other over the maturity of the Plutonian. For they realized that as much as the Plutonian was with them, he was evolving at a very fast rate in which they were unaware on how he took the narrative of more recent events as the Plutonian was pushing their boundaries mentally. Oh, 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 oh,